Recently, a friend of mine moved into an old duplex building here in LA, and he found that the front doorbell wasn't working. In order to fix it, he had to go around the house, crawl through the crawl space, find the wiring, and change it. As he was crawling under the house, tapping around with his flashlight, he suddenly notices envelopes, papers, postcards, keys, coins. And he's wondering to himself, what's that doing there? How did it get there? It turns out that the mail compartment where the mailman would drop the mail into had a crack in it. And every now and then, some mail would fall through the crack into the crawl space. And for the past hundred years since the building was built, these envelopes piled up and collected dust. He took them outside, sat on his front step, and went through each piece. He was surprised to find there was a postcard dated 1938 from someone in Italy congratulating the tenant for moving into their new domicile. Who uses that word today? If it was a, a receipt to someone who lived in the apartment at the time who donated a letter to a Sefer Torah. Old keys, coins, and as he's going through each piece, there's an old lady walking by. She walks over, introduces herself, and she says, you know, I lived there 25 years ago in the apartment upstairs, and some of my mail still comes to my old address. I'm wondering, is there any mail for me? They start going through the mail, and suddenly she sees an envelope with her name on it. And she says, oh my goodness, this is for me. She takes the envelope, she opens it up, and she sees there's a letter with four crisp $100 bills in it. It was dated to 1995, close to 30 years ago. And the letter reads, I know it's before the holidays right now and your financial situation is tough. I thought maybe you can use this extra money. Her eyes teared up. She got so emotional. She looked at my friend and she said, wouldn't you believe it? The holidays are coming up again. I can really use this extra money right now. And as she walked away, my friend, couldn't believe it, he thought to himself, what are the chances of him crawling through the crawl space, finding her money as she's walking by so that he can give it to her? You know, when it comes to chesed, the Torah says three very powerful words. Esa'ani imach. Esa'ani, what belongs to the ani, to the needy, imach is by you. Which means when we find that we have extra money in our accounts, in our mailbox, or sometimes, yeah, even under our mailbox, that money doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the yani, to the needy. The only reason why Hashem put it in our possession is so that when the yani walks by, we can have the opportunity, the mitzvah, of giving it to him. The next time that opportunity comes knocking at your door, check in, dig deep, because chances are, what belongs to the needy is with you.